hello family a happy and a blessed fourth month of the year i hope your april has started off well happy new month to everybody i have missed being here and today as usual i have another nugget and today's nugget is a very special to me because it involves the nation in which we are in it involves kenya and i do love being a Kenyan, I love being in Kenya. And so it will just be a quick one. I had posted something on my Insta stories last month. To be precise, it was the 22nd of March. That's when I put up the Insta stories. But the revelation that I had written about, I had gotten it on the 20th of March. Very early in the morning. And so I recall in what I had seen at that time, I saw a mid middle-aged man who was walking from street to street. It seemed like he was walking in different estates in Kenya. And he was going about shouting and waking people up. And in the dream I was seeing, people were in such kind of a deep slumber. Like, that was an unusual kind of sleep. And I saw some people who are actually intercessors that God expects them to be standing up and praying for the nation at this time, they were so heavily asleep. And so to be precise, this middle-aged man was speaking in Swahili and he was going about the streets shouting and he was saying, Wa Kenya amkeni hamuoni kuna giza ambayo nataa kuafunika amkeni. So he was, he was really trying to shout and wake people from their slumber. And I remember that morning I was shook and I was like, this is a call for another level of intercession before God. And I'm so grateful to God because on the 30th of March, there was a launch that was done for a prayer rally that will be going on for 40 days, praying and fasting. And thereafter, there'll be a prayer caravan to go around the 47 counties. I was very shook by that revelation and i just knew immediately this is a call to rise up in prayer and i'm so grateful to god that that there has been a launch a, um you know there has been rolled out a 40 days of prayer and fasting and the launch was on the 30th of march uh this year of course 2022 and thereafter there's going to be a prayer that, i think it's after two weeks from now perhaps there's going to be a prayer caravan going to the 47 counties in Kenya and raising altars of, that will be for God, nullifying other altars. I'm so grateful for Apostle John Kimani William and all the servants of God that have come together to come up with this initiative. Indeed, it is a show of love and patriotism to this nation and thank you for accepting the call of God at this hour. Men, because if we do not have people who are standing for God, for this nation, then it's very easy for us to be wiped away. But thank, thank God for his mercies and for raising his choice servants to do this. And it is also our duty to do our part. Because I was reading uh, the book of Judges. Uh, sorry, the, the book of Jonah, about Jonah and how, of course, the first time he ignored the call of God, he tried to escape from it. And the second time when he finally accepted in Jonah chapter 3, there are things that stood out for me. And I went back to this scripture to read again after during the launch, there is a preacher who was talking about how the time a fast was called in Nineveh. Nobody was exempted from the great to the small. And he was asking, surely if everybody in the nation fasted, that means, that includes even those people who the society considers sinners, the people consider them not to be worthy to be before God. This means even if there were prostitutes, they fasted. Even if there were, there were drunkards, they fasted. At that time, everybody decided we will choose to follow the voice of God because there is a warning that our nation will be destroyed and therefore from the king to the least they all fasted and this was done after Jonah went throughout Nineveh and the Bible says he took three days to do that therefore God has raised a praying army who are going to be going around the 47 counties to do this 
Therefore, it is our part to accept. Just like the people of Nineveh had and they accepted and they repented and they cried before God and God had them. We have the chance now to pray and ask God to give us the, the right leadership and God to exempt us from any evil and wickedness that the devil is planning in this hour for, so that we may enter rest at, as a nation and we may continue to walk in our place of purpose. So um, I'm going to include that flyer here for the 40 days of prayer and fasting and I'm urging every one of you. I loved something that Apostle Kimani said. He was saying we should pray for Kenya from our family altars. And you know, we are the ones who complicate these things so much. It's like, oh, those people with a big title, they are the only ones who should pray for this nation. Uh, I have to be a pastor, maybe have the title of an apostle or a bishop. Everyone is called to pray for the nation. So he said, whether we are praying for our food, whether we are in family gatherings, whether we are in uh, funerals, whether it's a political gathering, uh, we are really praying for that, that God can really bring authentic leaders who will pray genuinely during their prayer, their, their political rallies. Because even politics is an area that God should be involved in. Politics is not at for wicked people. It is God who appointed kings from the days of old. David, Saul, God has always been in the detail. So why now should we choose to say this thing is not a matter of God? There's a mountain of governance and, and it needs the right people to be enforced through prayer. So as much as you may be angry and say, I'll never pray for this nation. I'm so angry by what has happened. So what would you rather do? Sit and wait for things to just blow out of proportion. You have the chance to speak and release a sound before God. At least let it be known and recorded in heaven that you did something. So I'm really urging every one of you join hop on you are welcome to join uh the prayers again as i said i'll include the flyer uh and you can get the details from there so i just urge everyone of you remember there is a call to wake up because most of us have been in deep slumber and we need to ask god to just help us to move because there is a warning this man I was seeing in the dream saying, I'm Kenny. There is something that wants to cover you people as Kenyans. So why should we ignore? God loves us so much to even give us this chance to raise our voices and to enforce the right things. May God bless you and may you find the burden to pray for the nation even if it is 10 minutes. Will you try? Please try. Thank you. God bless. I'm Faith Murethi and you are welcome to join this family. I'm on Instagram, Faith underscore Muigai or Faith Murethi. And you're free to subscribe to this channel for more concerning inspiration, testimonies and revelation as the, as the Lord leads. God bless you. I'll see you again on another nugget. Bye-bye.